Crossrail 2 is a proposed rail route in southeast England, running between Surrey and Hertfordshire providing a new rail link across London on the Crossrail network. It would connect the southwestern main line to the West Anglia main line, via Victoria and King's Cross Street Pancras, intended to alleviate severe overcrowding that would otherwise occur on commuter rail routes into central London by the 2030s. The project was earlier known as the Shilsa Euro Hackney Line in reference to a potential route. The plan for a line on this alignment has existed in various forms since 1970. The line is the fourth major rail project in the capital since 2000, after the East London Line extensions, Chameslink programme and Crossrail. National Rail's projections of overcrowding including in less well-served suburbs and tourist destinations by Tube led it to call for more new lines and cross-London line proposals have gained more importance with Euston being named as the terminus of the planned High Speed 2 rail line. High Speed 2's completion would bring an estimated 20,000 passengers onto the congested Northern and Victoria lines at Euston per day so if HS2 is approved, Transport for London plan to change the safeguarded route for Chelsea Hackney between Tottenham Court Road and King's Cross St Pancras so that the new line will serve Euston. On June 28, 2011, the Deputy Chair of Transport for London stated that such a new tube line running through Euston would be vital to disperse passengers arriving on high speed too. For the same reason, the line serving Euston is also supported by Network Rail's route utilisation strategy for London and the South East published on July 28, 2011. By including Euston, Crossrail 2 has a considerably improved business case. Due to the higher numbers entering the tube network at Euston as a result of HS2, an extra line would become a necessity to avoid high demand, exceeding present London waiting times, at Euston. The line may cost less than Crossrail 1 due to having fewer central London stations. Current plans in February 2013, the Crossrail Torsk Force of Business Group London First, chaired by former Secretary of State for Transport Andrew Adonis, published its recommendations on Crossrail 2, favouring a route almost identical to the regional option proposed by TfL in 2011. The report was endorsed by Network Rail. Commencing at one of Twickenham, Shepparton, Hampton Court, Chessington South, Epsom. Takeover or shared use of the Shepparton Branch Line, Kingston Loop Line, Chessington Branch Line, Rains Park, Epsom Line and SWML Slow Lines, Portal and Junction with SWML Slow Lines, Wimbledon, Tooting Broadway, Clapham Junction, Chelsea The only entirely new station on the line, Victoria, Tottenham Court Road, Euston Kings Cross Street Pancras Double Ended Station serving all three main line stations and the underground. Angel, split into two branches, Northern Branch, Dalston Junction, Seven Sisters, Turnpike Lane, Alexandra Palace, Northeastern Branch, Hackney Central Hackney Downs, Portal and Junction with West Anglia Main Line Lee Valley Lines, Tottenham Hale, creation of slow tracks to Broxburn for Crossrail 2 services, Shashunt, continues to Hartford East along takeover of Hartford East Branch Line. 2008 Safeguarded Route, a route for the line was safeguarded in 2008. It linked the district lines Wimbledon Branch with the central lines Epping Branch via Parsons Green, Chelsea, Sloan Square, Victoria, Piccadilly Circus, Tottenham Court Road, King's Cross St Pancras, Angel, Essex Road, Dalston Junction, Hackney Central, Homerton and Leytonstone. The safeguarding also includes a spur from Victoria under the Thames to Battersea Park for stabling and access to a tunnelling site. The safeguarded route is due to be reviewed by the Department for Transport in 2013 but was removed. Northern and Southern Destinations Network Rails July 2011 are US for London and the South East supports the existing safeguarded route but speculates about possible modifications in addition to rerouting via Euston. To the South it suggests that the tunnels should go from Victoria via Clapham Junction to beyond Wimbledon, instead of surfacing near Parsons Green and taking over the district line from there to Wimbledon. To the north, it suggests that the West Anglia Corridor would be a better destination than a branch of the Central Line. These suggestions are driven by what the AUS sees as the need for extra capacity on the Southwest Main Line and the West Anglia Corridor. 
2013 consultation, in May 2013, TfL began public consultation on two potential options, Metro Route, Wimbledon, Central London, Angel, Alexandra Palace, Regional Route, Twickenham Epsom, Wimbledon, Central London, Angel, Alexandra Palace plus Angel, Shashant. The results of the consultation were published on November 29, 2013 by TfL and revealed broad support for the Crossrail to plans. 96% of respondents supported or strongly supported the plans, whilst 2% opposed or strongly opposed them. The regional route had greater support than the metro route, with 84% of respondents supporting or strongly supporting the regional route versus 73% for the metro plans. The greatest level of opposition to the principle of Crossrail 2 came from the residents of Kensington and Chelsea, the only area with greater than 5% of respondents who strongly oppose the scheme. Nearly 20% of respondents from this area either opposed or strongly opposed the scheme, views that did not exceed 10% in any other areas. 2014 Consultation In June 2014, a consultation on small modifications to the 2013 proposal started. Broadly the changes proposed fell into three areas, extending the Alexandra Palace branch to New Southgate, relocation or removal of the Chelsea station, and moving the point at which the two northern branches diverge to beyond either Dalston Junction or Hackney Downs Station, calling it only one of these two stations. History A west-northeast tube line was originally planned as early as 1901 and a bill was put before Parliament in 1904. However, Political maneuvering by rival tube magnate Charles Yerkes ended the proposal. 1970s, a west to northeast line was proposed in 1970 by the London Transport Board's London Rail Study as the next project after the completion of the Victoria Line and the Fleet Line. Designed to relieve pressure on the district, Central and Victoria Lines and to link two areas without tube services, the route would have taken over the Wimbledon branch of the district as far as Parsons Green then followed a new underground alignment to Leytonstone, where it would then take over one of the branches of the central line. For financial reasons the line was not built, but the idea has remained. The proposal in the 1974 London Rail Study was, commencing at Wimbledon, Parsons Green, Fulham Broadway, Chelsea, Sloan Square, Victoria, Mill Bank, Waterloo, Aldwych, Hoburn, Farringdon, Old Street, Shoreditch Church, Dalston Junction, Hackney Downs slash Hackney Central, Hackney Wick, Leighton, Leightonstone, continuing to Hay Nault, 1980s, following the Central London Rail Study of 1989, a route through Central London was safeguarded. This starts at Wimbledon, then, Parsons Green, Chelsea, Sloan Square, Victoria, Piccadilly Circus, Tottenham Court Road, King's Cross St Pancras, Angel, Essex Road, Dalston Junction, Hackney Central, Homerton, Leytonstone, taking the central line to Epping. As the route would serve both King's Cross and King's Road it was suggested that it could be named King's Line. It was decided however that the Jubilee Line extension should take priority and the project was postponed. 1990s, in 1995, an alternative express metro plan was put forward that would utilize more existing track of fewer stations and be built to national rail standards. It would take one of three routes from East Putney on the district line to Victoria. Either Putney Bridge, Parsons Green and Chelsea or Kings Road as in the original safeguarded plan. Or to Wandsworth Town and Clapham Junction and then via Chelsea Harbour and Kings Road or via Battersea. From Victoria it would call at, Tottenham Court Road, Kings Cross St Pancras, Highbury and Islington, Dalston Kingland. Hackney Central, and then split into two branches, to Leytonstone and then on to Epping taking over the Central Line, and taking over the North London Line to Woolwich, a route now followed by the Docklands Light Railway. The 1991 safeguarding also included a spur south of Victoria across the river to Battersea Park, for stapling trains and to access a riverside tunnelling site. 2000s, the London East-West study in 2000 considered Crossrail the Shilsa Euro Hackney Line and a combination of the two, from Wimbledon to Tottenham Court Road and then to Liverpool Street. The study supposes main line gauge, and would omit a station at Piccadilly Circus. 
its version of the Chelsea Hackney Regional Metro splits in the north, with one branch via Dalston taking over the Epping branch of the Central Line, the other to Finsbury Park, then using the disused alignment of the Northern Heights plan, taking over the High Barnet branch of the Northern Line. The Express Metro option would run on the East Coast Main Line. In 2007 Crossrail was given the go-ahead over the Schilser Euro Hackney line despite some commentators favouring the latter putting implementation after Crossrail's completion date of 2018. The Chelsea Hackney plans were taken over by Crossrail as Crossrail 2. In 2007, the 1991 route was updated a Euro Sloan Square was dropped and the central line's Epping branch from Leytonstone was re-safeguarded. Due to objections from residents of Sloan Square, it was reinstated the following year. Southwest Trains Wimbledon Depot was safeguarded as a depot for the line. The safeguarding was enlarged from tube gauge to network rail loading gauge as it became clear that larger and longer trains would be needed. Of the three routes proposed for Southwest London the Royal Borough of Kensington and Chelsea initially favoured one going south via Imperial Wharf to Clapham Junction but now supports the takeover of the district line's Wimbledon branch. Under these present plans, only one entirely new station would be constructed, at Chelsea, 2010s, with the planned terminus of HS2 at Euston, Chelsea Hackney was put back to the top of the agenda for new lines, diverted via Euston. The London and South East second generation of US by network rail proposed some changes to the safeguarded route, serving Clapham Junction rather than the Wimbledon branch of the district line, not serving Sloan Square, and serving Euston as well as King's Cross St Pancras. The AUS was also open to changes north of Hackney Central and branches south of Clapham Junction, both of which were seen as later phases. TfL responded by releasing its preferred options, an automatic metro and a regional scheme, automatic metro, Wimbledon, Tooting Broadway, Clapham Junction, Kings Road Chelsea, Victoria, Piccadilly Circus, Tottenham Court Road Euston Street Pancras Kings Cross double-ended station serving all three main line stations and Euston and Kings Cross St Pancras tube stations, Angel, Essex Road, Dalston Junction, Hackney Central, Seven Sisters, regional option commencing at Twickenham, Shepparton, Woking, Chessington South and Epsom, Wimbledon, Tooting Broadway, Clapham Junction, Kings Road Chelsea, Victoria, Tottenham Court Road Euston Street Pancras Kings Cross double-ended station serving all three main line stations and Euston and Kings Cross St Pancras Tube Station, Angel split into two branches, Dalston Junction Hackney Downs slash Hackney Central double-ended station, Seven Sisters Tottenham Hale, with Green Shashunt, Alexandra Palace terminates continuing to Hartford East, both TfL routes signify a change of thinking at both ends of the route, with serving Clapham Junction more of a priority than relieving the district line, and relieving the Victoria line at its northern end more than the central line. The regional option, as well as relieving the southwest main line, seeks to relieve congested sections of the northern line and Piccadilly line by removing passengers from the far ends of the lines. On February 5, 2013, Business group London First's Crossrail Task Force published its recommendations. 1. On Crossrail 2, favouring a route almost identical to the regional option above. Later the same day, Network Rail endorsed the plans. Proposed changes from previous plans were services west of Surbiton would go to Hampton Court instead of Woking, Chelsea Station would be called Kings Road Chelsea. The double-ended station Euston Kings Cross St Pancras would serve Kings Cross as well as Euston and St Pancras, Turnpike Lane would be served instead of Wood Green, the other branch from Angel would serve Hackney, Tottenham Hale and Shishunt. See also, Crossrail, Fleet Line, Chelsea Tube Station, References